If you are looking for effect ideas for your gym content, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you guys four easy effects that you can recreate in your projects. First transition that I will show you is a freeze frame slash mask out transition. The first step is to duplicate the clip. Hold down the Alt key or Option key on Mac and drag the clip upwards to create a copy. Next, hold down Shift and press the right arrow key twice. This will move the playhead forward by 10 frames. Finally, delete the rest of the duplicated clip after that point. Right click on the clip and select Add Frame Hold. This will freeze the movement of the clip at that specific frame. Then, from the Effects panel, select the Pen tool and cut out your object. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll just do a rough cut. Nest your clip by right clicking on it and selecting Nest. Then, move the nested clip so it aligns with the clip before it. Now you can see that our object is cut out. If you want to create a multi freeze frame transition, repeat the process with another object or as many objects as you'd like. Next, we'll apply the transform effect to both nested clips. You might notice that the edges are a bit rough. To fix this, double click on the nested clip and adjust settings like mask expansion, feather, and others. If you'd rather skip this process entirely, Feel free to check out a video on my channel where I demonstrate a different and much easier way to create a mask out transition. Go back to the main sequence from the nested sequence. Click on the first nested clip, scroll down to the effects controls panel, and enable position. Move the clip to the left or right. Then, go to the end of the clip and press reset to return it to its original position. Next, select both keyframes, right click, and choose Ease Out. Finally, uncheck this box and set the shutter angle to 200. Now, repeat the same technique for the other objects, but adjust the position differently for each one to create variety. If you want to make it a bit more dynamic, you can add a shake effect. Go back to the project panel, create a new item, and select adjustment layer. Drag the adjustment layer between the first and second clip, placing it either directly in the middle or wherever it fits best for your edit. I usually keep my adjustment layers for shakes around 6 to 8 frames long. I'll use a shake effect from my preset pack, but feel free to use any shake effect you prefer. You can totally create these effects yourself, but if you want to save time, my Shake Cut preset pack is here to help. It's packed with mask out transitions, hits, shakes, and LUTs all ready to drag and drop, and right now, it's 50% off until New Year's. Not sure yet? Try the free sample pack. Link below. For the second effect, I will show you this camera flash effect. Pair three images between the two clips. If you don't want to use images, you can use screenshots from the video by clicking on the camera icon, checking Import to Project, and clicking OK. The screenshot will appear in the project panel, which you can then easily drag onto the timeline. Each image should have a duration of three frames. On the first image, apply black and white and noise effects from the effects panel. Now go to the effect controls panel, scroll down, and for the noise effect, change the amount of noise to 40 and uncheck use color noise. Hold command or control and click on both effects to select them. Then copy them using command C or control C, select the rest of the clips and do command or control V. Now you can see that the effects have been applied to the other two images as well. Next. Add an adjustment layer with a duration of four frames. Delete any extra frames and position the adjustment layer exactly between the first clip and the first image. Click on adjustment layer and change blend mode to linear dodge. Then hold option or alt key and drag it to the end, right in the middle of the last image and second clip. Third effect is a zoom out effect. Select both clips and apply transform. Click on the first clip and make sure the playhead is at the end. In the Effects Controls panel, check the Scale option. Then, move three frames back and change the scale to 150. Select both keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease Out. Finally, uncheck this box and set the shutter angle to 200 for a smoother effect. Now go to the start of the second clip. Check Scale in the Effects Controls panel and set it to 300. Move three frames forward and reset the scale to its original value. Select both keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease Out. Finally, uncheck this box again and set the shutter angle to 200. The last effect will be this rapid zoom effect. 
Grab 10 different clips, all lasting two frames each. Apply Transform to First Clip, Keyframe Scale, and go forward one frame and increase the scale to 175. Change Shutter Angle Value to 250. Select the Transform Effect in Effect Controls tab and press Ctrl C to copy. Highlight the rest of the clips and paste the Transform Effect by pressing Ctrl V. 